Optimize Press is a WordPress based platform for creating landing pages, sometimes called squeeze pages and opt in pages. Sales and marketing pages. Membership portals for selling downloads and delivering other paid online content. And stunning blogs. It's the perfect solution for startups, small businesses, and entrepreneurs to create all the pages you need to get your business off the ground. To run Optimize Press, you'll need a site running WordPress software from wordpress.org. Now most hosts include this as a one-click install in your hosting package. If you're not quite at this stage yet, pause this video and visit our pre-setup guides which are linked below this video and will walk you through getting WordPress installed. Before we install Optimize Press, there are a couple of things we need to check on your WordPress configuration. Because of all the features and functions built into Optimize Press, it's larger than most other themes, and some hosts apply restrictions to the media allowance on your hosting account. But it's easy for us to check this. All we have to do is go to the media library and click on add new, and from there we can see the media allowance on our account. You can see here it's showing 64 megabytes. If yours is less than 64 megabytes, you can follow our tutorials below showing you how you can increase that allowance. If it's more than 64 megabytes, then you're fine to go ahead and install Optimize Press on your site. The next configuration is setting the permalink structure for your pages on your WordPress site. Now this is done through the settings menu and then go to permalinks where we choose the post name option. This ensures all of your Optimize Press pages use the correct naming function for the URLs. There are two versions of Optimize Press. You have the Optimize Press theme and the Optimize Press plugin. The difference between the theme and the plugin is that the Optimize Press theme has some themes included for blogging. The plugin version will work alongside other blogging themes, but it still means you can build independent marketing pages using our live editor page building platform. So both versions have the same features, but you can only use one of them on your WordPress site. So which would you use, theme or plugin? If you already have an existing site, then we'd recommend that you use the plugin. This is a standalone plugin, which means you can create independent pages from your existing blog. If you're just starting out and you're starting a fresh blog, then we'd recommend using the Optimize Press theme. You have all the same functions, but you also have the blogging theme templates built into Optimize Press. To download Optimize Press, all you need to do is go into the Members Hub, click on the Downloads link at the top, and from here you can choose whether you're downloading the theme or the plugin version of Optimize Press. All you need to do is click on this link to start the download, or you can right click on the link and then choose Save Link As. Both options will work. I'm going to click on the download link and I'm going to choose to save this somewhere on my desktop. Make sure you save this somewhere where you remember where you've just downloaded it to. Now once you've downloaded this file, be sure not to unzip the file. Leave it as a zipped up file so it's ready for you to install in your site. Also know that if you're using a browser like Safari, sometimes Safari automatically unzips the file. So maybe choose a different browser to download the theme files and the plugin file. To install the Optimize Press theme, we go from the WordPress dashboard, we go to Appearance, Themes, from there we'll choose Add New, then we choose to upload the theme.
Once the theme has successfully installed, we can just click on the activate link shown here. To install the Optimize Press plugin, we navigate to the plugins menu and from there we can choose add new where we can choose to upload our file into the plugin library. Once the plugin has successfully installed, from here we choose Activate Plugin. But remember, you can only be running one version of Optimize Press, either the theme or the plugin. However, it's good to know that you can switch between theme and plugin at any time, and all of your Optimize Press pages will remain intact. To activate your Optimize Press site, you need to install the API key. To do this, go over to the members area inside Optimize Press, go to licensing, choose your key, copy the key, then go back to your Optimize Press site and enter in the API key in the box provided. Once you enter API key and click save, you're presented with the create new page area inside Optimize Press. This is where you come to create any of your marketing pages that you want to build. You can see here we've got sections that will jump to each area and then you can preview any of the pre-installed templates that come with Optimize Press. Simply click on the preview link underneath the green button and you can see exactly how the template would look on your own site. Next, we'll integrate our email marketing services with Optimize Press. This allows you to quickly build opt-in forms by choosing lists that you've already created inside your email services. To do this, we click on the dashboard link on the left-hand side. And from there, we click on Email Marketing Services. Choose one of the many options we have in the list. And then you can choose to connect it or enter in the API key. Once it confirms connection, it redirects you back to Optimize Press. From here, you can see that Aweber in this example is connected. We also integrate with many other services. Some of them, all you have to do is enter in the API key for them to function in Optimize Press. To create your first landing page inside Optimize Press, we go over to the Create New Page link on the left hand side. Choose one of the category templates at the top. From here we'd click on use this template. Give the page a name. Click create page. Our page is then created and ready for us to edit. On the left hand side you'll see a button that says show and hide controls. This allows you to turn off the controls on the page and get a feel of how it would look when live on the internet. There's also the option to hide the left menu bar by clicking on the white bar. This is great if you're working on a small screen allowing you to see more of the page that you're working on. This landing page template is using a full background image and you can change that if you like. It's controlled in the color scheme settings on the left. We choose page color settings overall page color options and from here you can choose to add your own image remove this image and then even use a background color if you like using the color picker here putting in your chosen color you'll see the add element button this is where we can add in other features into our page like testimonials featured block buttons arrows we have more videos that cover each of the elements that you can add into your pages on the right hand side, this element here is called the Overlay Optimizer. And this has been set up with an opt-in form, which we're now gonna to connect to our email list provider. When you hover over any of the elements, you'll see that a pencil icon appears with other icons. But to edit this actual element, we'll click on the pencil icon, which opens up the editor, 
then we'll hover over the pencil icon again and edit the opt-in form. From here we choose Aweber from the drop-down list. This will go and get our list from inside our Aweber account. We can then choose add a thank you page. This could be a page on any other site or another page you created on your own optimized press site. We can choose to order the fields on our opt-in form, zero being the first at the top. We can also add in additional fields. If you've already created fields inside your form in your email list provider, when you click on the add new field option, they will appear for that list. From here we'd click on insert and then we'd choose update and our form is now connected to our email list provider and ready for us to publish. To do this we'd go over to the left hand side, choose publish from the drop down menu, click save and continue and then we can click on the view public link button to see how the page looks when it's published online. And to see the overlay optimizer in action, we could just hover over and click on the button and it pops up with our opt-in form. At any time you're on an Optimize Press Live Editor page, you can access the Live Editor by going to the Optimize Press link at the top and then clicking on the Live Editor button. If we wanted to edit some text on this page, again we could hover over the element, choose the pencil icon. Choose the text we want to edit, scroll down, click insert. From here we choose save and close and then we'd refresh or reload the page and you can see the text change above. So there you have it, in a few simple clicks you have a landing page ready for you to edit or ready for you to use in your business. To create your first sales page inside Optimize Press, you go over to the left hand side and click on create new page, choose your category at the top for sales pages, select the page that you want to use from the pre-installed templates and click on the use this template button, give the page a name, click create page, You can see in a few clicks we have a sales page ready for us to start working on. When inside the live editor we can choose to show and hide the controls on the left to see how the page will look when it's published on the internet. We can hover over any of the text, click on the pencil icon and choose to edit what we see. From here we can edit images, add buttons, edit buttons, add new rows, new layouts and new elements into the page. Anywhere you see the add element button means you can add in one of our elements into that area of the page. You can also edit the entire row color by clicking on the pencil icon and choosing where it says row background color. We have a color picker where you can choose to pick one of your colors from there or you can enter in your hex color. Where you see the add new row button means you can add in one of our predefined row styles. We have different layouts, different column layouts, and also complex layouts and featured areas. Once you add a new row, you can start adding and editing the text and the elements inside. You can also copy and paste rows, clone rows, drag and drop rows around. and delete rows.
Once you're happy with how your page looks, you can choose to publish it by the drop down menu on the left hand side. Click save and continue. Then you can click on the view public link to see how it looks when it's published online. Again, in a few clicks, you have a sales page ready to go and start using in your business. So now you're ready to start building your own landing pages and your sales pages with OptimizePress. Now if you're ever stuck, please don't hesitate to contact our support team and also check our knowledge base. Over 80% of the questions that come through to our support desk are already answered inside our knowledge base and that can be found by going to help.optimizepress.com and from there you can search our knowledge base or browse many of the articles that we have. You can create an account on our support desk which means you can log in and check the status of your ticket at any time and even go back and look at previous tickets. If you're ever stuck, please don't hesitate to ask and we look forward to you being our next successful customer.